Hi everyone, this is Dave Zacco, Zacco's Realty and Design. I've got a lot of people reaching out to me recently asking me about waterfront homes. And so I thought in this video I would give you an overview of canal front homes. I'm going to focus primarily on the Inglewood area. One of the most affordable gulf front communities in our area is Inglewood and the surrounding towns and villages around Inglewood. The number one value of property when people move to Florida is typically waterfront. And if you can get waterfront, you're really going to increase your chances of having appreciation down the road. After waterfront, water view is the second. I'm going to give you my top recommendations for canal front homes in and around Inglewood. Now Inglewood is located at the very southwestern corner of both Sarasota County and Charlotte County. It's a less traveled area. I came to this area in 1982 and I started working as a deputy for Charlotte County and then soon uh, went to work for Sarasota County. I had a grandmother that lived in Port Charlotte. We always went to Inglewood to use the beach and when I uh, moved to the area I was often going to Inglewood. Quiet, quaint area and I love it for the quietness as it is. As Sarasota and Charlotte County start to boom, the majority of the boom is taking place out east along I-75 and along 41. That's where you see these new communities popping up uh, and most of the new construction. Let's look away from that and let's look to the southwest and let's talk about firstly um, South Gulf Cove. This is an affordable canal front community in Charlotte County. Uh, most of the canal front homes in this area are selling in the 300s and 400s. Many of the homes do have docks or you can add a dock. I've looked into this area for several clients that were looking to buy canal front homes. They chose not to buy in this community because of the length of time it's going to take to get to open water. So one of the negatives about South Gulf Cove is that there is a, a channel, a canal, uh, you have to work your way out. It's 20 to 30 minutes till you get to the lock and then from the lock, once you go through the lock, you can be into open water. So if you're looking for something a little bit more quicker access to the Gulf or to the river, you probably want to skip Gulf Cove. Directly to the west of Gulf Cove is a community called Rotunda West. Now, though Rotunda West has a lot of canals, and I often get this question, you know, can you boat in these canals? Uh, none of the canals in Rotunda West actually lead anywhere. Uh, the community was originally planned back in the early 70s. It's a grand community that included golf. Uh, there's four or five different golf courses in the community, and the vision was to have golf to golf access. But the access was never granted so the canals don't lead out. There are a few of the canals that are connected and you can actually uh, drive around in a boat if you have a small boat within these canals and you can actually travel to one of the golf courses. But other than that you can't really get out to open water. Uh, next little community I'm going to mention is Placida Cape Hayes. It's a little bit south of Rotunda, uh, just north of Boca Grande. It's a very small area and there's a few canal front homes and waterfront homes in this area, around 500,000 to 600,000. It's very isolated and may be too isolated for some. North of there is the town of Grove City. It's a small neighborhood uh, south of Inglewood. There's just several canals, probably a handful of canals, and I love this if you're a boater and you're considering boating. I'm excited about it because about four or five of these different canals give you direct access out to the bay, and within minutes there's a pass you can be out in the Gulf. That's unlike any other area where you have direct access out to the Gulf. The next area I want to mention is South Inglewood or Inglewood South. On the south side of Inglewood there's about a dozen canals and all these canals have boatable water. The homes are very affordable, 300s, 400s, with direct access out to the bay. Most of these homes are going to be older, they may need some work, but as of right now, today, there's actually a small 3-2 with a boat dock listed at 349. Consider this if you're looking for boatable water and you want to find a home at affordable price. I think it's a great spot, South Inglewood. Now, if you go to North Inglewood, I really love the areas of Overbrook Gardens and Inglewood Isles. These are two communities that have canal front homes in addition to many homes that are not on the canals. These, both of these communities are in Sarasota County. You can find waterfront homes for starting around 500,000. Every once in a while you may see something that needs some work that's really tired under 500,000. I would say jump on that if you see it. I really love these communities in the sense of the appreciation, the proximity to Venice, the proximity to other towns. So this is just a really brief overview kind of looking at four or five different canal front communities in Inglewood. If you have any question about any homes in any of these communities or any homes in any of the other areas we serve, please feel free to reach out. I look forward to speaking with you and I appreciate your time watching. All right, take care.